football tackles a Colombian-shaped traffic jam on its route home this evening as England take on the South American outfit in Moscow. The three Lions lost their final group game to give them a perceived easier path to the final with tonight's fixture arguably the toughest on the road to global football's showpiece. Colombia boasts a side including household names such as James Rodriguez and Radamel Falcao, although the former has been struggling with injury. Can the three Lions get over the line? You can follow all the build-up and action live right here. Predicted lineups England, Pickford, Walker, Stones, Maguire, Trippier, Lingard, Henderson, Ali, Young, Sterling, Kane Columbia, Ospina, Arias, D. Sanchez, Mina, Mahika, C. Sanchez, Uribe, Cuadrado, Quintero, James, Falcao see the latest in play on at Betfair, click here 17 colon 40 key event England, Pickford, Trippier, Walker, Stones, Maguire, Young, Henderson, Ali, Lingard, Sterling, Kane Deli Ali starts for England in their World Cup showdown with Colombia. The Tottenham star hasn't featured since the win over Tunisia in England's opening match in Russia. He was replaced by Ruben Loftus-Cheek for the win over Panama and the defeat to Belgium but Gareth Southgate has reverted to the 11th that started the tournament. That means recalls for the likes of Harry Kane, Jordan Henderson, Jesse Lingard, and Ashley Young who all sat out the defeat to Belgium. England are without Manchester City's Fabian Delph, who has returned home for the birth of his third child but Loftus Cheek is fit enough to take his place on the bench. 17 colon 36 The World Cup Song Contest is in full swing en route to the Spartak Stadium. Could the England brass band be the game changer on the night? 17 colon 27 Our chief reporter Andy Lyons is following the England and Colombia fans as they make their way from Red Square to the stadium. The famous Moscow Metro is awash with white and yellow and, for now, it's all very civil between the two sets of supporters. Our football correspondent David McDonnell is all set to rate and slate the players in the media tribune behind the dugouts. 16 colon 38 England's significant others are wishing their boys all the best ahead of the big game. Annabelle Payton, who is engaged to goalie Jack Butland, and Jamie Vardy's wife Becky are all set for a party. The self-proclaimed queen of the wags Rebecca Vardy leads around half a dozen wives and girlfriends who will be watching on at the Otkriti Arena this evening. Megan Davison, Jordan Pickford's girlfriend, and Kieran Trippier's wife Charlotte have spent the day with them in Moscow. Meanwhile Harry Maguire's partner Fern Hawkins is supporting the side from home. Image, Becky Verdi slash Instagram, Image, Instagram 15 colon 45 miles Rudham, 51, of Cobham, Surrey, and Dex Marshall, 58, from Shanghai, China came together, dressed as knights of the round table. They have tickets for the match, but they may be in the Columbia end. Incredibly, there are around 40,000 from the soccer mad nation in the city, with a huge contingent expected in the stadium tonight. Students Santiago Michelata, and Laura Vinzo, both 23, from Manizales in Western Colombia, told how the previous games were a sea of yellow when their heroes ran out. There are almost 40,000 fans here from Colombia, he said. They have bought so many tickets. They are amazing fans. They just love football. We know they are up against it with England because they are such a good, young team. But we come in hope. Laura, studying marketing in Barcelona, Spain, paid tribute to the team and said, There will be no disappointment if we lose. They have played well here and in Brazil at the last World Cup. Charlie Hackford, 20, of Hull got a smacker from one pretty Colombian supporter and joked, I had to be careful. Her boyfriend was watching. Image, Reuters 15 colon 28 student Sam Pugach, 20, son of the ITV presenter Mark Pugach, flew in via Budapest for £150 and slept on a hotel lobby floor before arriving to sleep on his dad's floor. It was the cheapest way of doing it, said Sam, a journalism student at Newcastle University. We want to follow this team to Qatar and then America because we think this is just the start. We have a new generation of players who will be here in four and eight years' time. It is a really exciting time to be an England fan because you can tell they love representing their country, and we all feel a part of that. Gareth Southgate has rebuilt our confidence in the national side. His mate Rufus Hall, 20, an Oxford business student, 
posed with their England flag with Russian, England, Costa Rica and Colombian fans alike. We will not judge this team on today, he said. They have a big future ahead of them. Image, Reuters 14 colon 59 Andy Lines in Moscow says he has just spoken to two England fans from Solihull who have just been offered 500 US dollars each for their tickets from Colombia fans. They turned the offer down. Red Square is awash with yellow. Far more Colombia fans than England. 1-3 Lions support equipped. I know it's an away match for both of us. Both for us it really does feel like an away match. 14 colon 56 England fans kicked off their World Cup party in Russia today with a sing-song in Moscow's Red Square. Groups of fans belted out footballs coming home as they posed with some of the 40,000 strong army of Colombian fans next to the fan zone before tonight's knockout match. Cockney cabbie Michael Ryan, 50, sons Michael Jr., 19, and Jimmy, 17, stole the show with only fools and horses masks as they got ready for the last 16 showdown as Del Boy, Trigger, and Rodney. They carried a flag with the message Why Do You Call Me Dave, a reference to their favorite sketch in the hit TV show. Michael Sr. revealed he had taken some stick because he forgot to put a question mark at the end of message prior to leaving their home in South Woodford, Essex. We could have done a pub or a reference to Upton Park because we are big West Ham fans. But we wanted to make people laugh and have a bit of fun and it has worked. We were trying to explain only fools and horses to a Japanese fan but he just walked off because he struggled to understand. City investor Michael Jr. added, It has been great here. The people are really friendly and we are so glad that we came. There were some nerves about Russia but Gareth Southgate has got the nation right behind this team. Image, Reuters 14 colon 27 Arsene Wenger says there are only three teams left in Russia who can win the World Cup. The former Arsenal boss is working as a pundit for the tournament for Bayern Sports, and thinks that the populations of the nation still left in Russia will be crucial in deciding whether or not they can lift the trophy. The likes of Germany, Spain, Argentina and Portugal have already crashed out, and Wenger, who is still to decide on his next move after leaving Arsenal at the end of last season, knows who his favourites are now. Read more here. Image, Reuters 14 colon England will have to end Jose Pekerman's daunting record against European teams if they are going to reach the World Cup quarter-finals. Pekerman, a 68-year-old Argentine, has played eight times against nations from Europe during his six-year stint in charge of the South Americans, and he is yet to lose. Colombia boasts six wins and two draws and that run includes victories over Belgium and France as well as draws with Spain and Holland. Pekerman also guided the Colombians to the last eight of the World Cup in Brazil four years ago before they were knocked out by the hosts. They beat Greece 3-0 during the tournament, a score they repeated when they met Poland in Kazan last week to get their Russia 2018 campaign back on track after losing 2-1 to to Japan in their opening game. Read more here. Image, Rex slash Shutterstock 13 colon 31 England players are in a relaxed mood ahead of this evening's game. A few had a kick about at the nearby arena CSKA while others relaxed in the dressing room. Image, England slash Twitter. Image, England slash Twitter. Image, England slash Twitter. Image, England slash Twitter 12 colon 58. Never mind any looming peer shortage. Back home or here in Russia, Gareth Southgate is promising champagne football on a win or bust night in Moscow. If his England players are knocked out by Colombia, they are going down swinging. If they exit stage left, it will not be for lack of entertainment. Forget the caginess that has characterized a couple of the do or die games at Russia 2018. Forget the brain freeze at Euro 2016 that allowed Iceland to send England packing, meaning their last win in the sudden death stages of a major tournament remains the one against Ecuador at Germany 2006. Southgate firmly believes the youngest squad left in this tournament and, barring one alteration, the starting lineup that slammed six past Panama will at least be on the front foot in the Spartak Stadium. Read more here. Image, PA 12 colon 16 serious dedication by as many as 500 Colombians, some have been queuing for 48 hours, even after being told the game is sold out. 12 colon 04 Ashley Young has volunteered to be one of England's penalty takers, despite missing in their last shootout defeat. Gareth Southgate has got Young. 
Harry Kane, Kieran Trippier, Jesse Lingard and Jordan Henderson ready to step up if the last 16 tie with Colombia goes to penalties. Young missed from the spot when England lost on penalties to Italy in Euro 2012, their sixth defeat in seven shootouts in major tournaments. But Manchester United wing back Young said, of course I'll put my name forward. I have the confidence in my ability to step up and take one. I'll definitely be one to put my hand up and take one. We've worked on them in practice, and I have confidence in my ability to score more. Read more here. 11 colon 22 Davor Suka believes England have a golden chance at this World Cup because they are finally playing with their hearts, and not their wallets. The Croatia legend, now president of the country's FA, has been impressed with the three Lions who face Colombia tonight for a place in the quarter-finals. Croatia made it after squeezing past Denmark on penalties on Sunday. Asked whether England could join them, Suka said, Now when I see the England players it is not about how much you earn per week. It is about emblems, badges, and flags, and that seems to be more important. That is why you can be confident of your team now. I wish you well to beat Colombia. I wish England all the best because you are World Cup winners. You are hungrier for it now. You have a better team than you had before. You have the shirts. You have the flags and you have 11 warriors. That you need to have to win it. You have it. England have a better team now and we will see that against Colombia. With a quarter-final against Russia to come at the weekend, both Croatia and England are seen as the two teams with the biggest chance in the bottom half of the draw. But Suka added, I don't like the fact that we played extra time. We would have had more possibilities to go through, to the semi-finals, if we didn't. But then Russia also had extra time. The coaches, the doctors, the players will find a solution to this. The former Arsenal striker scored twice for his nation at Euro 96 when it was held in England. He believes this big chance for Gareth Southgate's men comes despite their massive workload every season. Suka went on, I have said so many times that in England you have too many games. At the end of May when you have Manchester United, Arsenal or Liverpool playing in the Champions League, you are squeezing the players like a lamb. I know the money is very important but you have League Cup, FA Cup, international friendly games, extra time games. There are so many. Image, pop a photo 11 colon 06 England fans are starting to make their presence felt in the Russian capital. Supporters are already wandering the streets with just under 8 hours until kickoff. Will they be smiling this evening? Image, Andy Stenning, Daily Mirror, Image, Andy Stenning, Daily Mirror, Image, Andy Stenning, Daily Mirror, Image, Andy Stenning, Daily Mirror 10 colon 41 England are bidding for a place in the quarter-finals of the World Cup as they take on Colombia in Moscow this evening. The three Lions sealed their spot in the last 16 with victories over Tunisia and Panama before a much-changed side came unstuck against Belgium, but Gareth Southgate is set to revert to the starting eleven that saw off Tunisia in the opener thanks to a last gasp Harry Kane header. Deli Ali missed out against Panama and was not risked against Belgium but is set to return to the starting eleven this evening at the expense of Ruben Loftus cheek. Image, PA 10 colon 10 Moscow Police on Tuesday briefly cordoned off a street near the Kremlin that has become a popular gathering place for World Cup fans after finding a suspicious bag. A reporter saw a police sniffer dog examine the large black bag in front of a shop in Nikolskaya, and policemen removing the barriers shortly afterwards. Image, Tasso 9 colon 34 Our man Andy Lyons is in Moscow ready for the game. Storm clouds hovering above the stadium ahead of kickoff this evening. Decidedly cooler in the capital than it was in Kaliningrad for the final group game. 09 colon 23 England could be saved by a Pope in a penalty shootout tonight as Gareth Southgate ponders a daring tactical switch of keepers. The three Lions reserve number one Nick Pope, 26, has impressed in training as he faced the dreaded spot kicks. The Burnley shot stopper has the best record on penalties of all three men at Southgate's disposal. Only Man United's David De Gea had a better save percentage in the Premier League last season. Our first choice Jordan Pickford has saved three out of 25 penalties in senior football. Jack Butland has kept out four of the 25 he has faced. 
but none of the last 10. Pope may be considered England's third choice keeper, but he has the best penalty statistics, with three saves out of 13. Read more here. Image, FIFA 08 colon 47 Gareth Southgate has urged his young Lions to victory as their bid for World Cup glory hits the knockout stages. The boss said destiny was in their own hands ahead of the vital last 16 clash with Colombia, with the team now one of the favorites and hopes soaring. He added, they have the opportunity to write their own history. The England manager sent his young lions into action with a military rallying cry ringing in their ears in their battle for World Cup glory, and he invoked the spirit of the Royal Marines by recalling a night the boys spent camping with the crack troops in a bid to boost team spirit. All eyes will be on Moscow as Captain Harry Kane leads out the players against Colombia, with the nation coming to a standstill and hopes of reaching the final soaring. Southgate told the Stars destiny is in their own hands as England try to reach our first World Cup quarter-final in 12 years. Speaking of the exercise with the Marines in Devon last summer, he said, they are an elite organization who represent our country incredibly proudly. It was good for our guys to get an understanding of the fact that when they represent their country the consequences of failure are far more serious. It is putting it in the context of playing a football match. But the age of the guys in the Marines is similar to our team. It is more than 10 years since we won a big knockout fixture. But for this team it is the opportunity to go beyond where more experienced teams have gone. They are relishing the chance. The lads have the chance to write their own stories now. They have the opportunity to write their own history. They want to do well for their country. They are proud to wear the shirt. Read more here. 09 colon 20 Hello and welcome to this live text commentary of the World Cup last 16 match between Colombia and England in Russia.